Hey guys, welcome to another part time players. This time we're going one year into the future for Planet X. Now, our characters for this one will be uh, characters that only appear here uh, Deacon, Sebastian Deacon, and Angel Perez. Let's have a look at their animations. Roger, sir. I'm going in. There you go for that one. And here's the other one. Ready? Get the fuck out of here on the ride. Roger, sir. So yeah, Planet X, this is a name that's going to appear quite a bit, because uh, Planet X is kind of an important area in the games. And not only that, um, Sebastian and Perez here are never going to appear again. They only appear in this game. How sad. But you know what? We also have the uh, additional thing of this only being one level for this part, because this is actually long enough. Trust me, that this one can go on for a bit. Uh, mainly because I take my time, and I recommend that for you guys. If, I, if you're doing casually, I recommend just taking your time for a few of these levels for story mode. This is a big, open area sort of place. And there's only one kind of enemy throughout this entire thing. Time splitters do appear, but they're not that big of a deal compared to normal enemies. And, uh, the normal enemies are quite the bastards. They can shoot your health down real quickly, too, so be careful. The weapons here are actually kind of unique. For instance, there's one that actually shoots out, you know, big spots of fucking grenade shots. Like that, and 10 ammo. Or you can use it as a machine gun. But I'm using it as a normal weapon here. What we know for this is the carbine. The carbine is actually my favorite when it comes to this. But I recommend the uh, normal one you start off with anyway, because... If you know that you can actually shoot as a machine gun as well, it does do some goodness there, but, uh... The carbine's great, too. It, it shoots fast. That's all you need to know about the carbine. Okay, so the ray gun is neat, too, though it's slower. I feel there's more damage, though, but still. So, yeah, this is how the entire thing works. So there's one little thing you should know about this level. Usually you've been going through and going back to get your item. You know, you've been getting your item and you just go right back and continue on all the way back to where you started to uh, a red ring around you. No, not this time. Also, there's a door here that will never open. So, here's the thing. You literally cannot actually go just back to get a red ring. In fact, easy kind of fucks you immediately on this one because you're thinking, oh, I'll just drop down and then, you know, go back to where I started. No. No. In order to actually get the hell out of here, you need to go and find the exit. The exit now also changes position as well as your item. And this is the only level when this really happens. Uh, every other level in the game, the eggs are the same, and for the most part, the arms are the same now. But, uh, not this level. In this level, you do have to find both the item and the exit. So here's the item. Here's some enemies. But now we have to go find the exit. It's like, I can just drop down right now and, you know, think, hey, I just have to, you know, go get my shit now. But if you do that, you fuck yourself. And you don't want to fuck yourself. Oh, is there any appear here? You know, that's fine. See, I can't go that way. Maybe I can shoot that window, but I never tried. I, I kept thinking maybe I could, I could open it somehow, but... I never found a way to open it, so I never bother. I go the long way instead. And by the way, the exit, you can see I'm looking all around, you know, making sure I got stuff, shit taken care of. And then I drop down from here, because you see, I want to get to the exit, but the exit's not here at the start. So yeah, this is a uh, complete fucking troll move on the developer's part for uh, moving the goalposts. So now I'm going to find it. 
Luckily, this isn't a very long level. Easy is always, you know, pretty short, and it is one of those ones where it kind of extend the level itself, so luckily our exit will change. But that's not all. You see, Planet X also changes one other thing every time you do a different do difficulty. So, you know, right now we're doing easy. We started right here on the ground level, and we went upwards to get our item and then find our exit. By the way, here's the mission briefing. I've missed some mission briefings for all these story missions. I'm sorry. But, I mean, you don't even really need to know that shit. I mean, all you need to know is get item, go to exit. That's it. So, how should I put this? What should we do? What? Sorry. What the fuck should we even, like, do here? Where can this ring be? It's not too far from where the item is. There were two ways we can go from up here. And I went the right way. Let's go the left way. Actually, I went the left way. Let's go the right way. There's some more enemies up here, but the exit is not too far from this path. Let's keep going up, kill these guys, and eventually it'll be right to my right. See? Kill these guys too. Why not? So yeah, not too bad. They just, you know, move the goalposts for both your finish and your item. But I said they do it for three things, not two. Let's go play medium, and see what I mean by free things. Also, some more arcade bot shit going on. And by the way, we now have the final three story missions. These final three is the mansion, the docks, and the spaceways. It just repeats in a loop after that. So yeah, we'll be doing that next time. And mansion, mansion is infamous. But uh, for now, we'll give you Perez for Planet X, and we're going to go and check out what I mean by different. Because uh, it's one of those levels where they kind of actually do change up how this all plays out for you. Because when you actually play the next mission, you know, the next uh, difficulty with this level, you get a surprise when you begin alongside an item and finish line move. You also get a starting position move. Yes, you will not start at ground level like before on easy. You will instead start right over here. There we go. You also get to, well, uh, you know, get some more weapons here, some more ammo. But that's not all. You get shot at by snipers. This level's got some bad case of snipers. You guys have a rifle too, but uh, you're not going to find too much use out of it. There we go. So yeah, let's just keep going through, killing some guys, you know, get our carbon rifle. Right over there. And uh, let's go to town. I don't think this blast move actually hurts you like an RPG, but um, I wasn't going to test it. Okay, so Carbine, let's go. All of your enemies are robots, by the way. I got rocket launchers too. So I would highly recommend not having rocket launchers this level. I mean, yeah, I do a lot of damage, but um, none of the enemies are really worth the rocket launcher, and uh, yeah, it, again, you go inside some, you know, small corridors, all walled up, so using the fucking rocket launcher around here, not a great idea. So far, nothing's changed. It has been the same ship as before. She's like, oh, got a sniper us now. Oh no, snipers. But don't worry. Even though it does really not change for like 90% of it for the enemy positions, your item, your exit, and your starting position does change. So, it can catch you off guard. 
can still catch up God pretty well. The problem is that it only really changed for easy. You see, normal and hard are no different now. It's just your style version changed on hard. That's it. But um, outside of that, no. Everything stays the same. You get the same item position and finish the line position in hard as you will get in the fucking medium. So, you know, that's a bit of a downer, honestly. So yeah, go inside of here and kill these enemies because they will get in your way because the finish line is actually down this path. Now I'm getting fucked here. That's not good. Don't worry, I'm gonna be fine. I won't die that easily. And this room is empty. That's fun. Okay, so let's go inside of here. You know, take care of the enemies around. Also, the board's kind of ricochet, but you won't be using it. It's not that useful. And yeah, around this corner, exit. This exit will appear in hard as well, so uh, yeah, you know where it is now. It's basically the longest the path gets. I mean, it could have gone longer, it could have changed a good bit, but, uh, what can you do? Alright, don't worry, I did leave this health kit here for a reason. Okay, so around here will be our item, we just have to, you know, fight for it, right? Well, no. Around here, it's just enemies. Which is always good, you know, get your kill count going up, but, uh... If you don't want to deal with enemies, this is kind of a trap. But, uh, you know. Where's the item, then? I mean, if it's not here, then... Well, let's back up where we came, but it's on the left side instead of the right that we went to. Because now we go actually downstairs to that area that we fought through a little bit. Uh, and found nothing in. With the locked door in that little cave. So, the item's there now. And it'll be there in hard as well. But I did tell you this game likes to trap you. And, uh, yeah, in this level, it's no exception. It does trap you here because it's a dick. And it loves doing that. How does it fuck you here? Well, go down, you fight a whole line of enemies, and, uh, and you go down, you find the item, you get it, and then all of a sudden, as soon as you go down, they spawn enemies all around you. And they kind of rail you a bit. Kill them fast. Like, seriously, do not let them fuck you up, because they can fuck you up easily at that ambush there. And then go upstairs, you know, go through the same path I went to beforehand, and get the exit, and that's it. They will teleport some enemies, though, for you. Like so. Again, these are not time splitters. They're like robots. But still, there you go. So that was medium. And outside of the starting line for hard, that's about the only interesting thing you're going to get from this point. So yeah, this is going to be basically one part because not only is this fairly long enough for a video, about 20 minutes. Um, Roger, sir. Mansion. Mansion is going to need its own part two. It's, uh... It's the second hardest to me. It's also the longest to me. I mean, yeah, I, I spent a lot of time in the festival tomb on hard. Because I did that first, but uh, I did that first, you know? I was doing that blindly first. Which was dumb. But I did that. But... When we get to Mansion, you'll see why people have such a problem with it. A lot of people, in fact. But right now, let's continue on with Planet X and see our final starting position, which is right here in this little cave. Yep, it's right there. And once you start throwing forward, you get to fight a whole barrage of enemies. So, kill them immediately. If you're doing what I'm doing, you'll run out of ammo really quickly because you can only really shoot out about maybe 20 shots by doing this. 
which isn't good. It's not a smart idea to do this. In fact, I'm now in my fist, so well, I should be dead by now, but believe it or not, I don't die. You wanna know why? I got a ray gun, which is the pistol of this fucking level. It sucks. I'm gonna switch back to my carbine now. There you go. I can also use this, but uh... You know, I can also use the normal weapon, but ray, ray guns, you know, carbine's really good. I'll use the fucking carbine. By the way, always, always reload after you kill an enemy. Like, after you kill a few enemies and then, you know, you got a good clearing going on. Always fucking reload. You're getting used to it by now anyway, about the reloading thing. Also, there's another rocket launcher around here. So, again, you don't really need it. Anyway, inside of here, there's gonna be some more of those enemies. But this time I'm gonna get dropped down, because if I do that, I'll line them up, and then they can't use cover against me. See? Like target practice. It's nice. Okay, let's actually go back and sun take care of these guys. There are two guys that will stay in code no matter what, so, you know, take care of them. But otherwise, it gets rid of the other ones by having to, you know, keep going back and forth in that little cave. Okay, so inside of here, there'll be some you know, usual enemies with some health that I'll need. A lot of stuff that I'll need. And right now, my armor and health is doing pretty good for hard. Mainly because if you do it in medium, you already know what to expect for the most part. It's not, not going to change at all. In fact, at this point, it won't change at all. I mean, yeah, you do get a little few enemies here and there, but that starting bit, that's it really. After that, everything's the same as medium. It's just that, you know, they might do more damage to you and, you know... You kind of have to be a little more cautious with your fucking, like, health and shit, but otherwise, like, it really is the same fucking thing. So if you're good at this at medium, like, really good, then hard is not going to give you trouble at all. It's kind of silly how easy this is. Oh, well. The thing about this is that... Planet X. Planet X is supposed to be our future. At least according to this game. Even though apparently a lot of the time here is uh, kind of inaccurate and you should take that seriously because Times for this one is kind of retconned in some areas. Like story wise, it is. We know something else. Planet X is supposed to be next year, 2020. Yeah, I'm sure that we'll find a Planet X next year. I'm sure that will happen. I'm sure Tesla will fucking, like, you know, make that happen, you know. I'm sure they'll find a new planet and just, like, rename it Planet X after this fucking game. I mean, you can't tell what the fuck Elon Musk is gonna do, hey. Well, still a fucking fan art, not gonna credit because he's an asshole. I mean, Musk's a fucking idiot, man. But who knows? He might get this in real life. I'm kidding. It'll never happen because this is like way, way too advanced for like a one year going. Just carve it into some moon rock or whatever, some fucking planet rock, just to make some high-tech caves and shit. A waterfall here and all. Yeah, nah, it's not happening. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and get our item that gets the exit back there. Now again, 
some little enemies will spawn here, you know, a few little more enemies here and there. But again, it's the same thing. You've gone through this before, so, uh, you know, just take care of it, then go down and deal with the ambush that will appear when you get that item. And, uh, yeah, just get the fuck back. So, yeah, this is, you know, Plan X. Pretty simple, honestly. It's, uh, fairly forgiving. I mean, there's some enemies that'll appear up the stairs to fuck you a little bit, too. That would keep you off guard a little bit, but, um... Yeah, I mean... Pretty easy level to get through on hard compared to others. And, uh, definitely compared to... That fucking level that fucked me a lot. Got them cypered in. Anyway, that's gonna do it for... Plan X, that's gonna do it for this, uh, 2020. I hope you left next year. Okay, now it's time for the last set of story mode levels. In which we're doing Mansion next. And Mansion is touted as being the hardest level of story mode. I'm going to prove that's not the case. But that'll be next time. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you at the Amphan 65's mansion.